We're at TNNA Columbus with Lisa Schroyer, the author of Knitting Plus. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you, Uni. So tell me all about the book. So the book is about knitting for plus sizes and how to choose the right sweater patterns for your shape and then how to tweak the shapes within those construction styles to work for your size. With different yarns and different, uh, different motifs, et cetera, et cetera. That's right. Sounds really interesting. Um, how's the book organized? The book is broken into five chapters by garment construction style. Okay. Um, taking a pretty technical look at how these sweaters are put together and then what you need to tweak to fit you. So um, how does it begin? So the first chapter is about the drop shoulder construction, mm -hmm. which is the sweater that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. um, and the key element of a drop shoulder is that the armhole is not shaped. It's straight from top to bottom. Let's just make sure that everybody can see. So it's literally a straight line, just kind of a square. That's right. So the shoulder is fairly wide, mm -hmm. and that's why it's called a drop shoulder, because it falls over the line. It actually drops down a little that's right. bit. That's right. So um, what is the what kind of yarn have you used for this? It so looks like it has pretty good drape. For this sweater, it was a worsted weight wool, the singles. Oh, I think it's here. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a fairly warm sweater, mm -hmm. um, but quick to knit on size 8 needles um, at a fairly drapey gauge. And I think, um, tell us about the sweater to your left. So this is also a drop shoulder sweater. It's much more fitted. Um, it has an A-line shape mm -hmm. to accommodate hips. Um, and it's worked in an all over fair isle pattern. But the shoulder does still have that kind of square silhouette to That's it. That's right. So the, it still has a fairly wide shoulder um, and a very large upper sleeve mm -hmm. as, re as a result of that. This is a little bit of a thinner fabric though. Tell us about the, the yarn choice for this one. In, um, this has worked in a sport weight wool. Mm -hmm so that it is a finer gauge than this garment, but it's worked in stranded fair isle. Mm -hmm. So you still get a pretty substantial fabric. Because um, your, your floats are doubling the fabric. That's right. that's right. So, and I look for yarns with a great color range when you're doing mm -hmm. fair isle. Well, so you get that great, like painterly kind of effect that's right. to it. So walk us through the, next, the rest of the book. So the next chapter goes into set in sleeves. Mm -hmm. um, and in the set in is the opposite of a drop shoulder. You can see that the armhole is shaped mm -hmm. um, and it creates this this angled line here mm -hmm. so that the shoulder is much narrower and fits you sort in of a much more refined way. Right. But this one that will require seams, right? Does require seams, yes. So but this one doesn't? This one um, does on the sides mm -hmm. because it's also worked in a singles and I always recommend when you're working with singles yarn to work seams mm -hmm. um, to avoid skewing. So um, this is a raglan. Which From is chapter three? Chapter okay. three goes into the raglan style. And um, you can see it's a raglan by the diagonal lines. From here to here. From underarm to neckline. And um, it creates a real sporty look. It can be very flattering for women who are um, a little busty and curvier. Mm -hmm. um, so, And then the next chapter goes into the seamless yoke, mm -hmm. which is shaped in the round in one piece with decreases concentrically around the yoke. So just so everybody can see, I want to point out one round, is, are, is this a round of decreases here? Or do they start here? There's four rounds. This is the first one. OK. And then the next one is here, the next one here, and the next one right before the neck. That's right. So um, the, the sweater, basically, you're decreasing the bulk out when you join the sleeves to the body, right, up towards the neck right. into so, a narrow shape. That first round has a really large circumference, and then you narrow as you work your way up. This is great. And I think that we should point out to everybody that these are like template sweaters, right? Right. So each chapter has a very basic sweater in the construction style. So you can see what it looks like on a plus size woman. And then we have more involved patterns like this one. That take the basic configuration and then start and elaborating on it. it. Right. But we've got one more chapter. And that's the one to my right here. The last chapter covers the dolman construction which you can see there's no seam between the sleeve and the body. Mm -hmm. It's worked as one piece, in this case, from side to side. Oh, so all the stitches are running this way, of course. Right. Yeah. And well, this is a great look for plus size women. women. It's sort of a kimono style with a wider sleeve, very drapey. Um, I, I think it's a great option for the plus size woman. Drapey and flattering. Well, sounds great. Thanks so much, Lisa. Thank you.